three, two, one. And my foot was just like dangling. Oh, this you crazy mother. Yo! Hey, lady. You don't have OCD. You forgot your spaghetti. You have OBCD. Okay, thank you. I didn't know my psychiatrist was on here. I'm Ashley's Darby. That should be my middle name. Amberlynn Hungry Reed. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel so disconnected. She was like, you're healthy. But you are obese. Hello? Is anyone home? Hey girls, welcome back. Amber seems to be in her housebound era and she and we haven't seen the light of day in months. She's been showing us her weird shower routine which consists of her letting the cold water run for several minutes, whilst she pretends to get ready for a shower that she doesn't seem to actually take. Judging by that t-shirt she isn't wearing after the shower. And she's back to having one single cup of sonic ice delivered to her through Uber Eats, and then claiming it's because she was craving a fountain drink. Okay you guys, so I really wanted a fountain drink, so instead, because I have some uh, Diet Pepsi. I ordered the Sonic Ice and just the ice. You see that? Oh my gosh, this is the best. Yes, I am actually excited for this. <laughs> oh my gosh. And this is the best ice to chew on before my teeth got super sensitive. Hell yeah. Sometimes a fountain drink just hits different. I don't know what to tell you guys. Oh my God. Nice and cold. Just how I like it. So right on cue, <gasps> as her views are dangerously low, now we get the video where she talks all about her weight and her body, so let's get into it. It is 8.45 a.m. and so far today I have just showered. Sure, Jan. Got ready for the day, did my makeup. I actually have a load of laundry and the wash. I've been productive, yes. People are asking why do I always have this in? When I'm talking to you guys, this is off. I just keep this in my ear all day long because like if someone calls me, I just answer it through here. Um, if I am watching something on my phone or something on my laptop, I just have this in. It's just like, naturally there at this point because i just i wear it all day long all right so i officially bought some new tennis shoes i'm super super excited for when they come in the mail i will show you guys i hope they fit she already showed us these shoes that she bought in her video uploaded march 10th so it seems we are at least one week behind in these um vlogs I am really, really swollen though. My lipedema and lymphedema is, you know, I'm just retaining a lot of fluid and water in my body right now and I could definitely even see it in my face. It's like I could be eating everything right and doing everything perfect and my body just says, Meh, I'm gonna reject that. Lipedema, like it's not very common. Like people don't know a lot about it. So mixed with that, plus being in like, the spotlight putting those two together makes it rough because a lot of people are like oh my gosh she's gaining so much weight like look at her it just sucks that it's like an okay thing to do body shaming isn't okay to do but what she just described isn't shaming she chooses to put her body in the thumbnails and as a main title to her videos so people will click watch and comment this is something she has admitted to before when I am more of a, hey, watch me eat stuff, my face mukbang, I'm gonna put my body in thumbnails looking like a big elephant, those get me the most views. Doing mukbangs did get me the most views and it really did give me the most money. You can't make hundreds of videos titled, let's talk about my body and then get mad when people talk about your body. When this is an illness, a disease that I was recently diagnosed with that I didn't know that I even had, Honestly, it didn't even cross my mind that that's why sometimes I look massively bloated. Stop with the judgment, truly. Like low key, it's ableist, it's fatphobic, and it's just not okay. You know what's also not okay? 
spending 10 years playing the victim of fat phobia, for profit, might I add. In my opinion, from the things I've observed her say and do over the years, she is definitely the one that is fat phobic. Also, putting yourself online is opening yourself up to criticism and judgment. People have opinions and have the right to express these opinions. If you can't take it, if it's destroying your mental health then you will have to remove yourself from the situation Goral, not the other way around. She has received so much support, encouragement and great advice over the years and it somehow always comes back to her calling everyone fat phobic, ableist haters. Um, me sticking up for myself doesn't go very well. <laughs> oh, you gotta love people. <laughs> It's a Brita filter. <laughs> so on Instagram, I've I've made it very clear that my OCD and intrusive thoughts revolving my OCD is very much affected when it comes to like tap water. I physically can't drink it because it makes me think of worms. So the person asked her if she's ever considered buying a Brita and let Amber know wasting plastic isn't cute nor quirky. Amber responded with, OCD isn't cute or quirky. A Brita filter no longer helps with my anxiety over drinking sink water. You're being rude and insensitive, so I'm blocking you. Another person asked her why she doesn't use one of her many reusable water bottles. And as you can imagine she didn't take too kindly to that one either. In this one she says she will only drink certain water bottle brands and that filtering quote sink water doesn't take away her OCD, anxiety, and urges regarding drinking it. Another viewer said, so you can eat slash drink soda, processed food, and take out but your OCD won't let you drink tap? Amber says, tell me you don't understand anything about OCD or intrusive thoughts without actually telling me. Well, she's gonna be mortified when she finds out where the water slash ice from her favorite fountain drinks comes from. Even with a Brita filter. But I know one thing, Feline, she'll be using that. So this is from Michaela. So thank you so much, Michaela. I appreciate it. It's not a comment of the day. It's a question of the day, but same thing. So it says, you'd be a spoiled brat if it were about a puppy or a purse not saving your life. And I chose this because around the community, um, people have, have been saying that I am a spoiled brat because I was a little disheartened and I cried and I felt like a failure because I wasn't getting weight loss surgery in the summer and instead I might get it in the winter. No Goral. People were saying you were acting like a spoiled brat because you made several videos whining like Veruca Salt, complaining that you can't get what you want when you want it, just because you are self-pay. And comparing yourself to the people who are on my 600 pound life, saying how you quote eat significantly less than they do so, why do they get the surgery and I don't? People were saying that I was a spoiled brat because of that. And you know what? That's a good point. I don't think I was a spoiled brat at all. I was simply wanting to save my life sooner. It, it, it feels the same way right now to me, like how it felt when I was going to get a hysterectomy. I wanted the cancer out now, not later. I want to save my life now, not later. I need people to know that, like, mental things are it's scary, like. There are girls outside right now that are taking selfies in front of a rock wall. This is my life, and I do what I want.